It took me over six years to write this book. It came out in English in 2013, and within a year it had already been updated into a second edition. This Spanish edition, which comes out in September 2015, is updated to the beginning of this year. Now, the reasons for it uh, being updated in this way is that, of course, Arab history is being made as we speak. But you cannot understand what is happening in the Arab world today unless you look at the history going right back to the time of the appearance of Islam and even earlier. And one of the reasons I wrote my book was because I thought there was far too much misunderstanding. It was so easy for people to demonise each other, to neglect to see the human face of the other side. Because I really do not believe that the Arabs and ourselves are very different. It has not been a clash of civilizations, as Samuel Huntington claims. What it has been has been an unfortunate combination of events, historical accidents, misguided policies, and a lack of understanding, a lack of willingness to understand the other side. And if you want me to prove this to you, I have some proof, but it is something very sad. At the moment, hundreds of thousands of refugees are coming to Europe from Syria and from some other Arab countries. Now, these refugees would not be coming to Europe if they did not want the things that we want. A free life, democracy, freedom of speech, the opportunity to do the best for their children, to educate their children. And when many of them go back to the Arab world, when peace eventually comes to Syria and these other countries, they will have been enriched by the experience in Europe. But I also think that we ourselves can enrich ourselves by learning about the Arabs, learning about their history. Because after all, there are many dark things in our history too. And we ought to acknowledge that when we think of the Arab world. So I hope you look at my book, Una Brevi Historia de los Arabes, and I hope that you enjoy it and find it interesting. If you have any comments, please do feel free to contact me via my website, although unfortunately I do not speak Spanish, so you will have to be able to write to me in English. I'm very sorry about that. Many thanks for listening.